Welcome to the bowels of the McLeod Center. $1 million in renovations made possible by a private donor was just put into the UNI men's basketball, women's basketball, and volleyball locker rooms. Right here is the men's basketball locker room. Let's take a look. Head coach Ben Jacobson, take it away. Yeah, welcome to our, uh, our new team room, uh, new locker room, new team lounge. Uh, this is it's already proven in a short time to be a tremendous addition to our program. Uh, I look forward to giving you the, the grand tour. Uh, this is our new video room. Uh, as you can see, the tiered seating uh, gives you very much a, uh, the movie theater style look to it. Uh, also able to get the lights down, the big TV, the surround sound. Uh, it's very different from what we had prior to the renovation. Uh, we were just in chairs on the uh, folding chairs sitting on the floor with the pull down screen and a projector and not able to, to have the same impact when it comes to motivation, uh, uh, scouting, uh, some of those kinds of things that, uh, that we need to do and, and like to do with all of our, all of our video. Uh, so this room is where we'll watch our video. Uh, guys have a little bit more space in this room than what they had. Uh, the locker room and the film room, uh, all they did was switch sides. You know, so we've got uh, basically the same space where we're starting right now in terms of where we watched film and where our locker room was. Uh, so again, the guys have a little bit more space in here, uh, but the same lockers that we were in prior to the renovation. Welcome to our players lounge. This is, uh, this is added space or new space that we were able to acquire. Uh, as you can see, as you, as you look around a little bit, we've got the setup bar, uh, plenty of room for six or seven guys. There's five stations there for them to be able to come in and set their laptop down and, and get some school work done. Uh, also on the front side of that bar, there'll be five recliners. So the uh, easy seating for 10 to 12 people. Guys are able to sit down and, and relax and, and watch a little bit of TV uh, in a different spot. And then we've got our gaming corner for the Xbox and you know the fun things that, that the guys like to do that way. And, and then against this wall is uh, uh, where we'll, the guys will be able to get on and, and do their uh, academic work. That, that computer and printer are hardwired to the internet. That was a very important part of this project for us to make sure that the guys have a spot where they can sit down and, and do their academic work and, and uh, have that hardwired to the internet. Uh, you know, this has already, uh, already proven to be a great spot for us. You know, we had uh, recruits on campus last weekend and we used all three of these areas, you know, the video uh, or our theater room and the team lounge more so than the other one. But we were able to do everything in here uh, where in previous years you know, we didn't have the space nor the comfort to be able to do that kind of thing. So I uh, feel very fortunate. We've got a terrific spot right now. Uh, obviously very thankful uh, to Dale and Marilyn Howard and their family for doing this for us and uh, uh, look forward to, to spend a lot of time in it. And behind our setup bar you can see we've got the fridge and the microwave and the counter and uh, you know, obviously we know what those are, uh, those are used for. and. and the, the reason that it's so significant at this point is the NCAA just changed our rule in terms of what we can provide for our student athletes in terms of uh, snacks and meals. And so the timing of having this room and having the availability of uh, the fridge and the microwave and a place where the guys can come in, get snacks, again, in between classes, before or after practice. Uh, if they're in here working out at night, they can get in here and have, uh, have something that uh, is available to them. And uh, you know, this, this allows us to do those things where Prior to, uh, uh, prior to the renovation, uh, we didn't have the, the space nor the, uh, um, you know, the equipment to be able to do that. We've got uh, the, the major project that we've got left to get done in here is to get the walls all taken care of in terms of the, all of the, uh, the art. It'll be uh, traditions, former coaches, former players, uh, championship teams. There'll be uh, um, a number of things about our academic success that'll be over by our academic wall. And that, uh, we're hoping to have that done in the next four to five weeks to, to get all that completed. And, and then we're going uh, to have everything that, uh, that a program can hope to have. Thanks a lot, Jake. For Ben Jacobson and videographer Matt Putney, this is Carson Tiggis for WCFCourier.com.